What's up guys, this is Gerald and I'm back again with my fourth video on this third home video series. Now for those who are just watching this video for the very first time, I've been doing this third home video series where I'm taking you guys through my journey and using this product. So this is a third home Evo LH40 laser hair growth device and I'm using this product to combat hair loss and hopefully grow some hair. Now for those who haven't checked out my previous videos, I did an unboxing and first impression video and then I did a 2 weeks update and a 6 weeks update video, so go ahead and check them out. Today is Saturday, April 17th and this end of the week marks the 11th week that I've been using this Theradome treatments and I'm still using the regular schedule as before, I'm using this product for 4 times a week, typically Monday through Thursday for 20 minutes per session. And I also still maintain the same routine, like I told you guys before, I still use Minoxidil 5 days a week, Monday through Friday, and then I always give Saturday and Sunday a rest, so I don't use Minoxidil uh, in the weekend, just because I want to give my scalp a rest. Alright, without further ado, let's jump into the before and after pictures right away. Alright guys, this is the first set of pictures, the one on the left is the before picture that I took right before starting the third home treatment. The one in the middle was taken after using Theradome for 6 weeks and the one on the right is the most recent picture that I took after using Theradome for 11 straight weeks. So what do you guys think? I can definitely see an improvement compared to the very first picture on the left, the one that I took before starting the treatment. But unfortunately, I don't see a difference between the middle picture, the one that I took after using Theradome for 6 weeks and the most recent picture on the right which I just took after using the Theradome for 11 weeks. So to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed to see this. I was hoping to keep seeing progress, especially after additional 5 weeks of treatment since the last time I posted an updated video. Now in this next picture, I just want to show you guys what my hair looks like straight from the back. So it's not bad. From this angle, you don't really see the baldness. Alright, in this next set of pictures are from the top. The same like before, picture on the left was taken before I started the third home treatment. Picture in the middle was taken after using Theradome for 6 weeks and the picture on the right is the most recent pictures taken after 11 weeks of treatments. Same story here, I can see improvements compared to the very first picture on the left but between the middle and the picture on the right, I really can't tell any difference. Now this next set of pictures is taken from the front. Uh, to me, they look the same, however, I feel that Maybe I see some growth on the corners or on the side of the forehead. However, I'm thinking that this could just be due to some slight different angle when taking the pictures. But overall, they still look the same. I don't think this product really fixed receding hairline or baldness at this stage. This last set of pictures are the view from the side. No difference as I don't have any baldness on the side. Alright guys, so what do you think? To me, unfortunately, I don't think I see any more progress as I don't see any difference between the pictures that I took after 6 weeks of using the Theradome and the pictures that I just took after using Theradome for 11 weeks. One thing that I want to note before as I undergo the treatment, I still feel that you know my hair shed a lot so whenever I shampoo my hair, I would see just a bunch of hair falling off on my hand. Lately, for the past 2-3 to three weeks, I see less and less shedding which is great news, but then if I shed less, if my hair shed less, I was hoping to, sh to see more progress, right? I was hoping to see more growth, but you know, based on the pictures, I really didn't. So it's a little bit confusing, it's a little bit contradicting. What also concerns me now is that they have this treatment stage in the manual that they provided, and in this chart, they say that the growth stage is between 6 to 9 weeks, and 9 weeks and after is the maintenance stage. So I've done this treatment for 11 weeks, so I'm well past the growth stage. So that's a little bit concerning to me because if that's it, if this is the growth that I'm going to get out of this product, it would be extremely disappointing and I probably would not recommend this product, especially considering that this costs $360 plus tax. Now whether $360 plus tax is expensive or not, it's very subjective, right? But to me, $360 is quite a big purchase and I'm hoping to see better result than this. However, I'm not gonna be discouraged though. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna give up right now. I'm still gonna continue undergoing this treatment and hopefully I'm gonna see more progress in the next four weeks. One thing that I wanna do or at least be more consistent in doing 
in the future is that I always want to cut my hair before taking the pictures. I want to have the same hair length so I can see uh, more consistent hair length right between the before and after pictures. I mean it's probably not going to be a big deal just because I always almost always have my hair pretty short. I cut my hair every two weeks but I just uh, you know, don't want to have any longer hair that's covering the bald spot making it look like I actually have some hair growth. This is probably a little bit off topic here but I've been cutting my own hair for the past 10 years and I've been using this Philips do-it-yourself hair clipper and what's neat about this hair clipper is that this head rotates 180 degrees so it makes it easier when you want to cut the hair at the back of your head because it's easier to grip and it's easier to maneuver because you can rotate this head and obviously this is rechargeable and you can wash this hair clipper you can remove this comb too and you, know, you can adjust the comb settings to different settings typically for the top of my head I will use this 15 millimeter and for the sides I will use the 7 millimeter so yeah I mean this is not a hair clipper review this is a third one review I just want to put it out there that I'm trying to be more disciplined and cut my hair before taking the pictures last but not least I don't think I've ever shared this in any of my previous videos but I've been using this shampoo and conditioner for the past two years the brand is called Curador I don't think I pronounced this right but the claim here is that it says it helps in reducing hair thinning and the ingredients some of them are aloe I'm seeing tea tree oil I'm seeing argan oil again I'm not an expert in any of these but those are the ingredients that I associate with you know helping to reduce hair thinning and helping to reduce hair loss so that's really what drew me into this shampoo and conditioner I bought this from Costco.com but I'm seeing this product in you know a lot of different places especially Amazon they always pop up in a daily deal here and there uh, does this work I don't know I mean I'm still balding right uh, would my hair loss been worse had I not used this shampoo and conditioner maybe but I doubt it you know but anyway I just give it a try because supposedly those ingredients are helping in reducing hair thinning so you know I'm showing you this not because I'm recommending this product but really just to show you the full list of the product that I'm using in my regimen so I'm using this shampoo and conditioner along with a third dome along with the minoxidil alright guys that's it for today's video sorry that I'm you know a little bit late in posting this video this time I have two small kids and it's just challenging to find quiet times to shoot a video sometimes in any case you know to summarize right feel like I haven't seen any progress yet between the six weeks update that I did before compared to now the 11 weeks update unfortunately I don't see much progress or at all you know I'm still seeing the same uh, baldness I don't see any new growth but I'm still hopeful you know I'm still gonna continue the third of treatment and I'm going to keep posting an update video in about four weeks so stay tuned thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video